Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. Before I start, I want to give all honors and glories and praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Waha, Waka, Kodash, Yahweh, which is the one true name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, who the world eagerly calls Jesus Christ, but his one true name is Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, meaning coming in the name. Ba means coming in, Ha means the, Sha means name, Waka means holy, Kodash means spirit. Double honors to the elders and the apostles and bishops of Great Millstone, because those are the men who I learned this truth from through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashim Yahashai. Peace, blessing, salutations to the hopeful elect. And Shalom to you, sincere, sincere brothers that scatter abroad, put you forth this word in truth and sincerity. And Shalom to you, sincere sisters that listen in silence as the scriptures command you to do so. I am the brother Mashiach Arazaka from the servants of Yahweh Wai Yahweh Shai camp, Las Vegas, Nevada branch. And uh, pretty much this lesson is going to be touted as there is no such thing as own free will. There is no own free will. Okay, so we got to consistently remind Jake's out there because they literally believe in their own mind, their own brain thought process that they have their own free will, which that's not in the scriptures. All right, you do not have your own free will. It's the Lord's will. All right, we're going to prove that. So, Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. This is uh, Proverbs 16 and 1. And it says, Proverbs 16 and 1. And it says, uh, the preparation of the heart in man and the answer of the tongue is from the Lord. You see that? It's from who? The Lord. So, you don't have your own free will. You can't say what you're going to be doing in the next five years because it's not promised. You can't say, well, tomorrow you're going to do this, tomorrow you're going to do that. You don't know. You don't have your own free will. You can't do as thou wilt. Yeah, we're under temporal grace, but you're not supposed to be willingly sinning. All right. Read that again. Proverbs 16 and 1. It says the preparations of the heart, meaning the mind. Right. The preparation of the mind in man. And the answer of the tongue is from the Lord. So it's from the Lord. Okay. You don't have your own free will in this thing. It's everything is from the Lord. Everything is from the Lord. Everything is from the Lord. Proverbs 20 and 24. This is Proverbs 20 and 24. And it says, Man's goings are of the Lord. You see that? Men's goings are of the Lord. You see that? So that's that's who's the one that's the one that sets up everything for us. He's the one that downloads in our body and our in our spirit. Alright, in this carnal flesh. The things we do. Okay, we don't just do them because we just feel like doing them. No. The Lord is the one that's in control of all things. He's in control. The Lord. It says men's goings are of the Lord. So how do you have your own free will? If your goings are of the Lord. Right? And it says how can a man then understand his own way? You see the scriptures say that. How could man then understand his own way? He can't. The Lord is the one that does it. Everything is of the Lord's will. That's why we pray without ceasing. That's why we pray before we leave our homes and come leave our home and come back because it's not promised. Nothing that we do is promised. Nothing that we do is just is, is just all of our own thinking process of oh well I'm just gonna do this. No. The Lord is the one that does it. The Lord the one that download in our spirit the, the things to do or the things that we do. Right? We don't have our own free will. The Lord already knows you're gonna do it before you even do it. You see that? So it's of the Lord. This is Proverbs 21 and 1. It says, The king's heart, meaning mine, is in the hand of the Lord. The king's heart, right, meaning the mind, the king's mind is in the hand of the Lord. You see that? Of the Lord. Not your own will. Of the Lord. Right? It says, As the rivers of water, he turneth it whatsoever he will. The heavenly father will. Yahweh Shai will. It's of his will. You do not have your own free will. Okay? There is no own free will. The Lord, everything is of the will of the Lord. This is why we say, Lord willing. Everything we do, we say, Lord willing. Because it's of the Lord, man. It's of the Lord. Proverbs 10 and 23. Got another precept. Another example. Jeremiah 10 and 23. It says, O Lord, I know that the way of man is is not in himself see the way of men is not in himself it's, it's not in, in 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 himself right and it says 
It says, O oh Lord, I know the way of man is not in himself. It's not in himself, right? And it says, it is not in man that walketh to direct his steps. You see that? It's, it's not him. You see that? It says, it is not in man that walketh to direct his steps. You see that? So it's not him that directs his steps. The Lord is the one that do it. The Lord is the one that's in control of that individual or that person. The Lord is the Lord's will. You do not have your own free will. It's simple. Read it again. This is Jeremiah 10 and 23. O Lord, I know that the way of man is not in himself. You see that? It is not in man that walketh to direct his steps. It's not. It's the Lord. Right? It's the Lord. And I think I got a thinking about that precept. Uh, I think it's Proverbs 3 and 5. Right? I think it's Proverbs chapter 3 and 5. Um, yep. There's 3 and 6. This is Proverbs. I'll start at verse 5. Proverbs 3 and 5. Trust in the Lord with all thine mind and lean not into thine own understanding. Right? Verse 6. This is Proverbs 3 and 6. In all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy paths. The Lord is the one that directs the, our paths. He's the one that sets it up. He's the one that have our every each individual in this lifetime whether you're in the truth or you're not in your, in the truth you have your own lot that you have to play out the lord already has your lot already written out for you you just playing it out you just playing your lot out all right so i'll read that again jeremiah 10 and 23 oh lord i know that the way of man is not in himself it is not in man that walketh to direct his steps see that he he don't direct his steps. The Lord is the one that do it. He directs our paths. He set it up. Men's goings are of the Lord. Men's goings are of the Lord, man. I got another precept here. This is Sirach 18. And I think it's verse 18 and 3. Yeah. This is uh, Sirach 18 and 3. And it says, oh, it says, who govern the world with the palm of his hand? You see that? And all things obey His will, the Heavenly Father, man. Everybody, everything obeys His will. Talk about the Heavenly Father, and it says, "Who govern the world with the palm of His hand?" That's the Heavenly Father. It says, "And all things obey His will, His will, the Heavenly Father, man. Not your own will, the Heavenly Father, the Lord's will." It says, "For He is the King of all, by His power dividing the holy things among them from profane." And you see that. It's His will, the Heavenly Father, the Heavenly Father, y'all about Shema Shai. It is of the Lord's will, everything. It's of the Lord's will. Right? This is Sirach 33 and 13. Let's get that out. Sirach 33. This is Sirach 33 in verse uh, 13. And it says, As the clay is in the potter's hand to fashion it at his pleasure. So man is in the hand of him that made him. You see that? The Lord, the Heavenly Father. We're, we're, we're as clay. The Lord created us. He already, right? He set everything up. He's the one that's in control. He's the one that makes the decision. Men's going around the Lord. Verse 13. As the clay is in the potter's hand to fashion it at his pleasure, so man is in the hand of him that made him to render to them as like him best. You see that? So the Lord is the one that set it all up. You don't have your own free will. You can't, you don't do whatever you want to do. Okay, you don't. It's, men's goings are the Lord. You have a lot that you already playing out that the Lord already set up from the beginning. You see that? So this is why, again, man, we over here, we pray that our lot is to be the elect. Because men's goings are the Lord. Your lot could be a two-third. You don't know. We None of us know. We just playing our lots out. Sirach 39 and 18, it says, At his commandment, Salakia, this is Sirach 39 and 18, At his commandment is done whatsoever please him, and none can hinder when he will save. None can hinder when he will save. You see that? So you, how do you have your own free will? The Lord is the one that's controlling and that's the director of this whole entire show. How do you have your own free will? No, you don't have your own free will. You do not have your own free will, man. You don't have your own free will, Miss Dean. Uh,
I'm gonna read this because I think I, yeah, I'm gonna read this too. It's Ciroc 33 and uh, 13. I read it already. I read it already. I'll read it again. This is Ciroc 33 and 13. It says, As the clay in the potter's hand to fashion it at his pleasure, so, so man is in the hand of him that made him to render them as like him best. So again, the Lord is the one that's in control, man. The Lord is the one that's setting all of this up. We're playing our lots out. You don't have your own free will in, in this thing. All right, you have a lot that the Lord already set up for you, and you just playing out that lot. Revelation 17 and 17, wrap it up with this. And it says, For the Most High have put in their hearts, meaning mine, to fulfill His will. Not your own will, His will. And that's why I said again, you don't know what your lot is. None of us do. We just playing it out. And the Lord set, the, set, set up our lots. Before we were even on, before we came in on earth again on the, in this flesh, we already had, the Lord already has our lot set up. We're just playing our lots out. It could be of the elect or it could be of the two thirds. You don't have your own free will in this thing. You don't. The Lord set each and every one of us up individually for his will of his purpose. Right? Revelation 17, 17, for the most high have put in their hearts, meaning minds, to fulfill his will. That's why the scriptures say men's goings are of the Lord, right? His will, right? His will and to, it says, and to agree and give their kingdom unto the beast until the words of the most high shall be fulfilled. So there you go. Everything is of the Lord's will, not your own will. That's why when we read it. That's why when we uh, pray, right? Or we say, you know, Lord willing, if we hear another day, we always say Lord willing because everything is of the Lord. You do not have your own free will in this truth. You don't have your own free will in this truth. You don't have your own free will in, 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 in this flesh, even off a of camera, in your personal life. You do not have your own free will. You don't have your own free will. Everything is of the Lord. Men's goings are of the Lord. So, hey, Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. I want to give all honors and glories and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Ahab, Kakwadash. And double honors to the elders and the apostles and bishops of Great Millstone. Who will well and teach well because those are the men who I learned this truth from through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Peace, blessings, salutations to the hopeful elect. And shalom to you, sincere brothers scattered abroad, pushing forth this word in truth and sincerity. And shalom to you, sincere sisters, let's listen in silence as the scriptures command you to do so. I am the brother Mashiach Razaka from the servants of Yahweh Yahushai camp, Las Vegas, Nevada branch. And Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. Till then, on to the next one. Shalom.